In this video, I'm going to show you how to go from Site Origins to Beaver Builder. Both are uh, recommended by Tyler. Um, the only difference is um, in his 2015, he recommended the plugin uh, Site Origins. And on his new videos, the 2016, he recommends uh, Beaver Build to use Beaver Builder in this. And they're both uh, great, and there are ways to edit your site, but on Beaver Builder, there's a lot more options, and you're probably going to want to upgrade. But there's a lot of people out there that saying, well, I already did my site on Site Origins. How do I um, not lose all the content? And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that and make sure you don't lose your content and it even looks better. And this is for people, too, when they upgrade the uh, theme by Tesseract, the, the new Tesseract theme. We added a lot of new features and a lot of upgrades and stuff. So what you first want to do is you want to make sure that you go into your appearance in your WordPress themes and you check if there's an upgrade right here and, and it will say in red there's an upgrade and you just click on it and then it will give you directions to upgrade to the new uh, Tesseract theme. So that's the first thing you're going to want to do. Um, also you're going to see this thing called uh, Beaver Builder and it's going to say hey you're going to want to upgrade to Beaver Builder. Um, don't do that yet. If you do that's okay but um, uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to disable some plugins um, first, uh, but before I start disabling plugins, I want to uh, back. I want to do two things. I want to back up my site, and I want to copy uh, some of the content onto a WordPad or TextPad editor, just so I could have that as a backup. Um, so let's go ahead and back up your site um, next. So you have a backup, and you could always roll back. Uh, the site to how it was before. So let's do that next. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get this plugin by going to plugins and clicking add new to help you back up your website. And this is something you should regularly do anyways, but let's get this right here. And it's called updraft, updraft uh, plus backup so you could just type updraft plus and you'll see updraft plus backup in restoration and by the way they got really good reviews and i use them and it's really great so i like them so i'm going to go ahead and click uh install now and it's going to activate this uh, plugin by just clicking activate and there you go and then you're not going to really see it on the side um I, oh there it is in settings and then updraft plus backup or you could just go to updraft plus and go to settings here it's really up to you i'm going to just do it from the settings here and i'm going to go to updraft plus backup next i'm going to click on that and this is your settings and i already did a backup right here before um but you all you have to do is just click on backup and that's going to back you up uh the backup the site so even if you add a whole bunch of pages or add everything it backs up all of your content so that's really great and all you have to do is just click backup and it's going to ask you if you want to back up everything you say yes and then um then it goes ahead and, and backs it up and then what's going to happen is it adds it to this uh, your backup so it'll give you like the date of when you backed it up and then you could just restore it just by clicking restore and I tested this and it's really great I even uh, deleted a couple pages and deleted a couple plugins and then I restored it <clears throat> and then it restored that backup it was really awesome so I love this so just keep that and keep that backup and make sure you just go here and back it up before we do everything that's the first step and the second thing sometimes I like to do is go into my pages and you don't have to do this I mean you could really trust site origins and I like to just copy like the text right here and paste it on like a, a word document sometimes if you want to if you want to just have that extra layer of uh, feeling good and that security you could also add that right there but we're gonna get rid of all this vi visual editor so again all you have to do is just copy this if you wanted to and put it on a text pad it's really up to you you don't have to do that um, it just makes people feel really safe and stuff when upgrading from 
uh, the, this type of editor to our new editor uh, that Tyler recommends, uh, which is Beaver Builder, which is this one right here. So the next thing you want to do after you copied some of that content, maybe put it on the text editor, is go into your plugins. That's the next thing you want to do. And I'm going to go ahead and leave this page. And I'm going to check mark a couple plugins that we don't need anymore uh, because we're going to upgrade. It's going to get replaced by the Beaver Builder plugin. So let's go ahead and check mark some of these things. And the first thing you want to do is check mark this one right here, the site origins and widget. And anything that says site origins, you want to check mark. So there you go. There's the bundle, there's the page builder. I'm also going to check mark spacer. And you don't need the title remover as well. You could check mark all that right there. So all those ones you could check mark. And then go up to where it says bulk actions and deactivate that. And then press apply. You actually don't even need to delete it. Um, if you want to, just keep it clean. You could delete it, but at first, just deactivate them. Now, when you go to your site right now, it's going to look weird. You know, you're going to have this there, and you're going to have it's going to be really funky and weird. So let's um, make that look better. Um, and by the way, that title remover just got removed. This that other title. So it's, it's really up to you what you want to do. Um, you could keep that title remover there. There's another way to get rid of this right here, um, but for a lot of people, they actually want to keep it. So you could go back there and you could uh, activate this title remover again and watch what happens. And you could go back here and do this and it will get rid of that title remover. But there's a way to get rid of that, another way to get rid of that. But let's not get into that in this video. We'll keep that there. So the, for the most part, just I'm going back here again, sorry. Um, just remember to get rid of all the site origins and the spacer. That's the biggest thing right now. Okay. And then what we want to do is we want to go to your pages. So we're going to add one by one the, the builder to each of the pages. But first we have to install this builder. And you may see this right here. It'll say uh, Beaver Builder and in, uh, begin installation. You want to click on that. Now if you don't see that, that's okay. All you have to do is go into the plugins, click add new, and we could just type in Beaver Builder. Beaver Builder, and it looks like a little yellow, um, there it is, orange thing right there. And all you have to do is click install now, or if you see this notice, you could click on this one. I'm just going to click on this one right here, and I'm going to click install right here. So either one, you just want to install that plugin really easy. And then it's been successfully installed. Again, nothing's really going to change yet on your site. So if you visit the site, you're not going to see anything. But when you edit this page, what we're going to see is we're going to see a page builder. It's a little different right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to copy all this right here. Um, some of the some of the text and stuff on like a notepad. So I could do page by page and I could just take the same uh, format and I could replace it. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I opened up a little notepad here and I'm going to copy this onto my notepad right there. Now I don't need this spacer anymore because there's a way to do that. So I'm going to get rid of anything that's a spacer. But any of the content I have is going to still be there. So let's just keep that content so we're not getting rid of that content. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and click be, uh, the page builder right here. And it opened up a page builder. It's asking me to take a tour. I'm going to say no thanks. And this is just a row right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and edit this row right here. But before I go on, I just want to introduce you to um, this page builder. As you can see, it's a lot cleaner and a lot better. And it has all these rows and columns and all this stuff right here. You could add so many more things. And we have what's called content blocks. And that's what we're going to add right now, uh, some content blocks to replace this old stuff right here. So I'm going to go to content blocks. And I'm going to go ahead and add this Explorer one. Let's just say it's the same type of thing. And presto, it added this. I don't know why I added two, but that's probably my computer. So now I have two, 
and let's say you added something different here it doesn't say explore well, all you have to do is just click on this and then replace it with um, whatever title you want so there's a new title right here and you can just play around with it and the reason why I get went ahead and put all the content like on a word pad is because just in case we lose it I want to make sure I could I could paste it back into whatever I want so as you can see this makes it really easy to go from this to this this is a lot better you could edit it on the page and and once you're done copying over the content to this new layout you don't need this anymore right here so you are probably asking yourself well what if I have some other content down here um, some other type of layout stuff you could do the exact same thing by adding content and uh, you could click on this add content button up here and there's other things that you could add for example this three featured box you could add that and then that will drop in here just like that you could also manually add rows and stuff so let's say you wanted to add like four columns you could take that and drag it let's say I want to drag it right here in the middle and then there's these four boxes and I could add whatever I want I could either add a photo to this box just by going like this and a photo will go in there and so on so this makes it really easy so the main thing you want to make sure you do before you start editing your new site after you upgrade to the new Tesseract theme and you get this beaver builder is you want to go into your plugins and you just want to make sure you disable um, everything that says site origins right here and the spacer make sure that's um, that's dis de deactivated as well so as you can see it says active uh, so I, all you have to do is just click on these things right here and then go into here and press deactivate and apply so just everything that says site origins and the spacer um, you don't need you probably don't actually don't even need the title remover either um, depending on how you build your site but you could play with that just really depends on how you build your site but that's basically how to go from the old site origins to the new way of doing this with the beaver builder and it becomes really really easy once you get used to it you shouldn't get scared to doing it always I always back up my work by putting all the text and content on um, some notepad or uh, whatever you want just to keep it right there um, also uh, you could back up your work and I'm going to show you how to back up all your work uh, in uh, but just by going here and if you want to back up your whole WordPress there's another way to back it up and I'm going to put it on a different video to show you how to do that but that's basically it that's how you go from site origins to the new beaver builder and use um, this tesseract theme and add all your content it looks really good when you start adding it and playing with it it's really really easy uh, I hope this video helps uh, let us know if you have any questions